Now, I would like to invite Dr. Faisal Mohamed to give you highlights of the vision and mission of the Sudanese Medical Association, UK and Ireland. Please, Dr. Faisal. His Excellency, the Federal Minister of Health, Mr. Bahar uh, Abu Garda, Mr. Chairman, our distinguished guests uh, from the Irish Royal Colleges and Health Institutes, our distinguished guests from Sudan, ladies and gentlemen, friends and colleagues, Greetings and welcome. Uh, it's nice to, to be in Galloway in these lovely sunny days. When uh, I was uh, chatting to one of my friends in the hospital in London, I said, uh, I'm flying to Galloway. I said, I hope it's the weather is going to be kind for you. and It's not going to rain because that's the norm. And I think it has been. Uh, please let me start with sincerely expressing my admiration and thanking the organizers of this conference specifically for their great efforts in organizing such an excellent meeting and for inviting me to deliver this talk. My talk will focus on the vision and mission of Sudanese Medical Association UK and Ireland and with brief reference to some of their achievements. Let me, if I may, give you a brief background about Sudanese Medical Association UK and Ireland. In June 2009, a group of Sudanese professionals practicing in UK and Ireland met at the Hilton uh, Metropole in London for consultative and brainstorming session to analyze the need and the feasibility of establishing a unified, inclusive, and comprehensive professional scientific organization that has no political affiliation or function except for the health and medical issues. Indeed, some of the founding members of this new association have considered building up a similar society since the year 2003. However, at the time, and for some reason, this did not progress further. The driver for this initiative was the general unsatisfactory feeling among significant number of Sudanese professionals practicing in UK and Ireland about some of the existing bodies and their variable objectives and lack of clear leadership direction to address the real needs of the health system in Sudan. In addition, of, uh, many Sudanese professionals have done some remarkable self-motivated uh, charitable work in our beloved original home country to help out in one way or another, but in a rather uncoordinated, fragmented pattern or ineffectively uncoordinated patterns with no clear impact or measurable outcomes. Many others have the dream, ideas, aspiration, and motivation to help out in developing or delivering health care or to contribute to training and education back home. But perhaps they don't know where to start or whom to approach. SMA UK and Ireland established with the aims and objectives to address that need and to orchestrate some of those dreams and aspirations to come true. The Metropole meeting concluded that there was a clear existing organizational gap and needs among the Sudanese medical and health communities working in UK and Ireland. And with the Health and Medical Educational Institute in UK and Ireland and their counterpart, uh, professional co uh, colleagues, uh, a medical education institute in Sudan. The strategic vision of this association is to work in partnership to assist in the capacity building and upgrading the health service in Sudan to highest standard to benefit patients and professionals alike. By the joint efforts of integrated teams of all medical and health specialities, while not overlooking our role in serving the British and Irish communities with emphasis on ethnic minority communities in both countries. We aim to continue the legacy of our predecessor Sudanese medical professional in integrating positively with local communities and maintain the excellent, renowned professional integrity and high ideal, but in a more coordinated pattern and clear, beneficial, measurable outcome. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, with all of the above in mind, SMA UK and Ireland has been established as a professional social and academic body that has no political affiliation or link to any of the existing political parties. Many of us as individual or bodies perhaps have political colors 
or independent political views, which understandably uh, would be quite natural. For uh, those SMAU can Island, uh, we will, uh, SMAU can Island will work closely with them and support their aspiration in helping the country, but with conditional note that they need to take off their politically colored hats when they walk into SMA UK and Ireland arena. The association decided that it will work with any governmental health and medical authorities, regardless of what regime or political party is governing the country, as long as it finds the positive forward thinking committed partners in Sudan. SMA UK and Ireland was found to strengthen the links between the Sudanese health and medical institutes and their counterparts in UK and Ireland for the sake of advancing and promoting the health of our three nations. In the international conference like this one, and the more specific direct focus meeting and formal delegate vi visits would be the vehicles to develop the partnership to deliver on those objectives. I just wish to emphasize the SMA UK now has declared from the outset that it will work and collaborate with no exception with any existing, present or future founded professional bodies in UK and Ireland or in Sudan that share all or some of the interest and fit with our purpose, its purpose and cause. And the declared statement unequivocally included clauses that address this point. In addition, many of our experienced colleagues, dentists, pharmacists, nursing staff, health informatics and other allied health service professionals feel obliged to provide assistance and help and pass on uh, their acquired cumulative knowledge and experience to their peers or their trainees in Sudan. Unfortunately, they lack the tool and process to link up due to their limited number. And for those colleagues, SMA UK and Ireland have provided the platform and umbrella to enable and empower them to deliver uh, on their noble wishes and aspirations. Indeed, SMA UK and Ireland is one size that fits all. Obviously, time may come in the future when some of our members from a particular profession may grow bigger in number and may wish to consider uh, then their own organization a stand-alone professional body. As part of its objective, SMA UK and Ireland would support their decision and continue to support and collaborate with their professional bodies. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure I share with you today, SMA UK and Ireland has just celebrated its second anniversary. However, within those two years, it proved and emerged as a strong, credible organization. In the first year and since its integration in March 2010, it has delivered in many aspects of its declared missions. In the same month of March 2010, it contributed to the faculty development program at Sudan, Sudanese uh, Medical Specialization Board and delivered the first training course of its kind at the Sudan Medical Specialization Board on the training the trainers on the subject of work-based clinical assessment for clinical supervivor, supervisors. That was attended by majority of senior staff of various specialties council. The training course was well received with useful feedback. I was very pleased that the board has adopted the assessment tool as part of their regulation and also appointed three of SMA executive as a member of their faculty development committee. On the 24th of June, 2010, SMA UK and Ireland held its first joint conference at the Royal College of Physicians in London. The conference theme was emergency medicine and family medicine, as they were the two most recently established training council at the Sudan Medical Specialization Board. The conference was officially opened by then college president, Professor Sir Ian Glemore, and attended by Professor Iona Heath, the then president of Royal College of General Practitioners, Ed Glucksman, vice president of Emergency Medicine College, and a number of senior officer, officers uh, from various royal colleges in UK and senior Sudanese health professionals. The conference was addressed by Director of Emergency Medicine Department at Khartoum Teaching Hospital, President of Emergency Medicine Section of the Royal Society of Medicine in London, and distinguished official guest speakers from Sudan and UK, including Secretary General of uh, Sudanese uh, working abroad. And SMA uh, indeed signed a collaborative protocol with uh, the uh, Secretary General of Sudanese working abroad. The protocol organizes the relationship between the two organizations to benefit Sudanese health and medical training and health services in uh, UK 
and Ireland and Sudan, and exchange visits to address the various needs of the Sudanese Medical and Health Organization. In December 2010, SMA held its first joint conference in Khartoum. The conference was organized with our partner and Secretary General of Sudanese uh, work, uh, Working Abroad, Federal Ministry of Health, and the CBD uh, of the Federal Minister of Health, Ministry of Human Resources, and the Sudan uh, Medical Specialization Board and Sudan Medical Council. The main theme was nursing training and professional uh, development of this forgotten clan, <coughs> including the delegates included senior officials from Royal College of Nursing in, in London, Open University in London, and senior NHS specialist nurse and uh, podiatrist accompanied us to Khartoum, in addition to academic secretary of the British Society of Biochemists and senior NHS radiographers. The Royal College of Nursing signed agreement with Federal Minister of Health Nursing Director and also with Vice Dean of the College of Nursing at Khartoum University. The topic of emergency medicine was also covered extensively with workshops and state-of-art lecture, in addition to family medicine that organized uh, with our partner at the Sudan Medical Specialization Board and the Armed Forces uh, Hospital and Services. Also, it included hospital management. Uh, the session was chaired by then the Undersecretary of the uh, Federal Ministry of Health and attended by many of the directors of uh, various hospitals in Sudan. Since then, I have passed on the flag to my colleague uh, Maher Hamad, uh, who was elected as a new president in May 2011. <coughs> Maher will no doubt cover some of the recent SMA activities that have taken place under his leadership. Now, SMA UK and Ireland is opening a gate for a new horizon by organizing its first scientific conference in Ireland. The collaborative relationship between Irish health and medical uh, institutes and the abuse in Sudan is historical indeed. But we hope this conference would mark the new dawn for some sustainable relationship for the benefit of the two health systems. I understand that the both conference activities will address this issue in more details to build col collaborative training, uh, perhaps also joint uh, research project and exchange knowledge in building capacity at all levels. I would like to propose to the SMA executive and its partners in Sudan is to work toward organizing the third SMA conference in Khartoum in December this year, jointly with our Irish colleagues and their health and medical institutes. Ladies and gentlemen, I can see the red car. <laughs> so I'll skip on this one. Friends and colleagues, SMA UK and Ireland success is everyone uh, every member uh, uh, job. Uh, what is reassuring is uh, about the organization is a rapid expansion of its elected membership. I say selectively, I refer to the incredible Facebook generation of our young colleagues who joined the organization during the last year under the leadership of my successor, Mayer Hamad and his colleague in the executive committee. Dear friends and colleagues, Guests, I hope you will enjoy the rich and interesting program that has been put together for the day, and I do hope that we see some helpful support and great outcomes that will be implemented to benefit our health nations and our patients. Thank you for your kind attention, and God bless all.